Hello. Yep, I'm back. It happens. Anyway, I'm still trying to get all my stuff straightened out behind me because, you know, I just am. Anyway, I'm playing with the C Color Unisex 5 today, which is looking a lot like that. It is supposed to be inspired by Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade. We'll see how this goes. Where do I want to start? Uh, let's start here. Just remember there are no names on the colors on the color palette. I'm just going to kind of start with this. It's a really pale kind of beige character. And yeah, I've got the elf eye putty on the on the eyes already. We all know about me and my favorite favor for elf, even though they don't know who I am. I happen to like their stuff. I love their price point. Because we all know I talk about it constantly. I'm an old woman on social security. And since I took it early because I'm disabled, I didn't get near as much as I was supposed to have. If I had managed to make it all the way to 65 and had been working all this time and all the other stuff, so yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Anyway, how y'all? How's it going? How's your COVID masking stuff going? Around here, it's still kind of hit and miss. Our particular little town, depending on the store and the policies, the corporate policies of the store. You can go in with or without a mask. Now, the grocery store and the pharmacies are all still requiring masks. And some people are walking at it because I've gotten all my shots, yada, yada. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. The store wants a mask. You know, no shirt, no shoes, no mask, no service. I'm good with it. It's like, besides, I don't always trust anybody else. Yes, I've had all my shots. <laughs> Still don't trust anybody. They might have the flu. The other thing we've got going on around here is I wear my mask outside almost as much as I do indoors anywhere in particular because anybody who has ever seen a cottonwood tree blow its blooms or as some people call them smoke trees oh my god there's fluff floating everywhere and my allergies can you hear my voice my allergies are going berserk so yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what am I going to do next? Do I have any clue? Eh, probably no clue, but I'm going to do this next. Anyway, I had to do a feature story for my current class. It's on writing feature stories and such. Part of the time I'm analyzing feature stories, you know, the not quite news, but interesting kind of human interest kind of stuff. And this last one that I've got to do is on interviewing someone for a 
interest. So, you know, somebody who's not precisely newsworthy, but it's interesting stuff. So, in one of the other classes I did where I had to write something a bit more newsworthy, there's a friend of mine who is in a business that has an impact on the school in a way because she writes she she was writing for a writing service where you hire somebody to take your notes and clean things up or that kind of you know that kind of thing people in businesses use them people in school use them i mean you get a lot of people who are english second language who contract this type of writer to clean up their grammar and and formats and stuff like that for important papers and the thing is, though, and I used to write for them, too, because we would subcontract off each other. But they would, some of, some of the people, business and students, would take the sample paper that we would do, including stuff with, I mean, you're not going to do a study for a sample paper, create what you need for a sample paper. And, you know, but you're showing the person what they need to provide so that we can do it right. And they take the sample paper and they turn it in. They don't always do all of their work. And the writers get a bad rap. And the students, on a regular basis, get bounced for not doing their work properly. But the writers themselves get a bad rap, even though most of us are not going, look, you can get away with this. And it's like, there are a few of the writing that will tell you, you can get away with this. And it's like, um, no, not really. <laughs> they will catch you. You know, the schools are not stupid. They will find you if you do this. They will find you. They will expel you. They will just, like, wreck your day. Okay? They will wreck your damn day. And it just, you gotta wonder. But since there was all that, I interviewed her under a pseudonym because she was still working to bring up that whole business about that kind of trying to get out and doing your work and how some writers may guarantee you can turn this in and not, not get found out without having to do your you know, data finding studies and all that. But there are some of us who, if we know that's what what's up, and that's where the student starts with, we will refuse to do them. Because other people rely on these papers as actual studies to support their own work and it's like and if it's not real 
page. Wow. That just bakes my cookies. You know, it's like I'm in school. If I can do it myself, I'm going to do it myself. If I need to do grunt work on getting data, I'm going to do it. And in this case, it was getting the grunt work was getting the questions answered for the interview. So I would have some accurate information and I got it fresh. I didn't just make it up out of whole cloth from stuff that I mostly remembered and such. And it's like, that's one of the things you gotta do. You don't make it up. You make sure you've got your ducks in a row. You go in and you make sure you've got it right. So this time, since it's more of a human interest story than an academic issue that's actually newsworthy, I went and interviewed somebody else. But yes, I have people in my life that I can do this with, which means I don't have to go searching for somebody. I have my husband who has been working on a series art project for years now that he didn't think he was going to be able to do because in 2006 he had a stroke. So holding a paintbrush was not going to cut it. But then some friends of ours taught him how to use Daz Studio. And from there on, he's been working his fanny off with electronic art. Sorry about that palette cover. He's been working his arse off on electronic art to actually finish what he wanted to start before the stroke. And it's coming along. He's pretty close to done. And the art series, now the part that I actually Play in the art series, which is I'll be writing the text for the book, is not part of the interview series. It's just the interview is just about him and what got him started and what his background is as an artist to begin with and that kind of thing. And I went at it just like I would if it was somebody I didn't know that well. I got him to write out his CV so I would have something for his background. For those who don't know, that's a curriculum vitae, which is what you learned in my CV, which is it's kind of a resume and kind of not. So I got him to do that because I want to take his history in art from his own words, not mine. I mean, I know what he's done. But I want it in his words so that it's the way the interview should be. It's supposed to be in his words, 
not mine. Um, and then I need to put it together with all the questions and get it cleaned up and get it turned into a paper. And I need to attribute it correctly, including any of the textbooks I used for guidance. And, you know, it's got to be right down the line on everything. And then turn it in. And it not only has to be right down the line on format and attribution for information, but it's got to be a good paper. Not easy. Not easy at all, because my professor in this case is, he's a hard case. He really is. He expects you, first of all, this is a, a senior level course and all that, so he expects you to be on your game. <gasps> so much fun. In the meantime, still working on my book, and I need to get my book finished. I really need to get it finished because this book that I started off, that I didn't want it to be a series, now has the plot bunny for book three sitting in the sitting in the queue right next to the few pages I've done of book two. Plus he's almost finished with his art project, so then I'll be working on that book. It's a good thing I've only got seven classes left to go. Yeah, and it's seven classes after this. Each class is eight weeks if you want to try it count it all up. I'm in week six of the current. And then I have seven more, all of them with eight weeks. So sometime spring of 22. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe summer. We'll see. We'll see how far it gets. Yeah, now I'm just using my mirror mirror. Less of a chance of me forgetting you're here and sticking the palette lid up. I'm using kind of a pale green shimmer in the inner corner just because. I kind of like purples and greens together. Kind of blend it over there just a No, I haven't sprayed any of the colors because I didn't want you know all the shimmy shine. I didn't spray it. I want to see how these do. Because each one of the C color palettes have a little bit of a difference in how they work even though it's the basically it's the same formula but each batch has a little bit of difference to it which is yeah, kind of normal not every batch is going to be completely identical even if they're using the same measure because some of it 
it's it's a matter of humidity. Some of it, it's a matter of did they source the components for the recipe from the same place? You know, are we sure the measurement calibrations were exact? So, yeah. I check each one, see how they work. And I really appreciate that, for the most part, I don't have a lot of trouble with blending or putting on the shimmers from Sea Color without having to um, wet everything down or necessarily stick my finger in or any of that. this under here. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see. I don't know why I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do this. I've got a really pale yellow up here in one corner. So I'm going to take that really pale yellow up here right under the eyebrow. Just for the heck of it. And yeah, I changed my hair color a little bit on the, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, when the teal started washing out really quick, I said, hmm, and I had ordered in some online stuff called Adore, and I picked up three colors of green. And this one's the lightest one. It's called Apple. So, yeah. I put this in over top of the teal. I curled it yesterday. I didn't feel like being bothered today. So I stuck a flower in to kind of hide some of the flattened curls. Yeah, that looks pretty. That looks pretty good. And I'll just take my little rag with me. My cellar water on kind of clean up the edges just a bit. Not like that. Baby washcloth. Little eye cellar water. Picked up the baby washcloth pack of six at Dollar Tree. A dollar. 
And it works just fine to heck with the, the disposables, you know? I do just fine with this. Now, I have taken care of, that's the last of my CC color unisex. And that'll take care of that. Now, I'm going to get blush out and foundation. And yes, I'm going to use one of the unmentionables highlights because I have it. It came in a box. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it up. Buy another one? I don't think so. If you haven't got into the news about some of the Ofra kerfuffle, go online. Check out the other YouTubes. There are plenty of people talking about it. Or kerfuffle. <clears throat> so, yeah. I will be back shortly. I'm going to cover up a few imperfections and then come back and finish this mess up just a bit. And we'll see how it goes from there. I shall return to you. Yep, I'm back. This is what I got. Eyelashes and all. Physicians Formula Healthy Wear. restorative effects. Bronzer is out of one of the Pacifica duos. Eyelashes are health. And this is a luxe lash kit ringed and old. Says dimension multi-dimensional layers. <laughs> you want all the rest of it? It's 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 there's all kinds of little codes on the bottom and stuff. All that. Used one of my other bronzers for a little bit of contour so that it didn't all just look the same. Blush is out of the Perfusion Cosmetics 6 color blush palette. It came like this. It arrived like this. They have refunded me. It arrived like this, but well, actually it was a mess when it got here and I cleaned it up. But not too bad. I like the colors that are left. Like I said, I've got, you know, Star Island. That's all I'm saying about that. Elf Hydrating Camo Consquealer. This is the Nady again. Um, the Blue Waterline is TLTs by Elf. It's, it's a paste eyeliner. 
foundation is the e.l.f. foundation serum. I'm going to confuse the heck out of you. The mascara is beauty benefits, not benefit beauty. Beauty benefits, different stuff. series all the way around, different company. I picked that up over at Dollar Tree. Which reminds me, Dollar Tree has a whole new line of stuff. Something called New Color. And you. New Color. There's the little, little tiny tweezers they send you with the, 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 the Luxe Eyelash Kit. And another eyeliner that came in through boxes that I used just in the corners here so you can like I didn't have that bald patch at the end of the lashes. Dragon liner. I don't know if it's a Nikita or something else. It came in a box. Called Dragon. Got a little ultra soft eyeliner in brown on the tight line. And I've got some of the Elf Putty Primer on. And Model Co. for brows in light medium. I think that's it. I think that's it. Brushes are a mix of AOA, ELF, and um, Farrah. Farrah came in the boxes. Other than that, the only thing I've got on is my jammy top. Yes, it's it's a homework day. I'm not gonna get dressed up. I don't want to do my content for the day. Just because. Well, mostly just because I missed Tuesday. So, there's second day after doing pin curls. Sleeping on it with no caution whatsoever. The new background. Like I said, I'm still working on it. I still don't have everything in just the right place. Leave it to me to be awkward. Um, what else? What else is going on? What else is going on? Don't know. Don't know. <gasps> oh, yeah. First it got way, way hot. And I do need Way, way hot. I mean, a few days ago, it was in the 90s. And now we're back into, we spent the last couple of days in the 50s and 60s. And now we're up in uh, mid-70s or so, just enough to warm the house up so you don't the windows. But it's been a roller coaster really annoying because when it's a roller coaster like this, you don't know how to dress, you don't know how to do things when you go out, when you've got to go out, like it or not. It just, what do you do? So, you know, you go out and you've got, you're going, it was 90 degrees yesterday, so you go out without even a sweater the next day and freeze. It's just not fair. And then the pollen between the two, I can't get rid of this sore throat. So I've got people who are dodging and ducking me, even though I've got my mask on, because they're like, oh my god, she's sick. Oh, and it's like, no, I have allergies. <laughs> I was a good girl. I went and got my, my shots and and I've had my mask on the whole time, and I've still got my mask on, so chill out. 
haven't had anybody bug me about my mask lately, though. That's been nice. One last week was enough. Yeah, that was enough. What else am I doing? Looking for a new MMO game. Now, I gotta tell you, I love World of Warcraft. I have loved World of Warcraft for going on 15 years. Okay? That's a long time. I love my main character. I have not gotten rid of my main character in 15 years. However, the when we went from Blizzard was the creative company that came up with the game. To Activision Blizzard, things started to slide. The bean counters took over, and the product being the game was being shoved out before it was ready, regardless because the bean counters had been. So every time we've had an expansion, which is a continuation of a story, it's like we got finished with taking care of one section of story, the next section of story is another expansion. And we're up to the ninth expansion now. And I'm very, very sad because where it used to be, you would go out and do quests, which is basically just going and doing a job for somebody, and it would add to the story. We're down to just doing quests that you can do every day if you want to. It's, it's a job to go do, but it doesn't advance the story. It doesn't advance your knowledge of the game. It doesn't advance anything. It's literally just an assembly line right now. And I'm really, really upset. It's it's not as much fun as it used to be. So I'm, I'm trying to find another game. Now, if, if I find another game that I have to um, for my time in game like I do for WoW, WoW will have to go because I can't afford two games. If it's a free to play, then, then I'm kind of safe because I, I really don't want to give up on WoW, but I'm not, I'm not holding out a lot of hope at least for this expansion, it just is not working well. Especially not for somebody who doesn't play constantly and isn't pushing for big numbers on, on achievements and stuff. And pushing for massive raids, which you have to get together a bunch of people that are going to like go do a specific thing at a specific time. See, that's part of the problem with an MMO. You're playing in real time. If you've gotten everybody together to do this one particular thing as a group, you are playing in real time. And you have to be on, at, everybody has to be on at the same time that's in that group. Otherwise, you can't play as a group which a lot of people just don't understand where they like come blowing in and telling like their kid or their significant other to get off the game, put it on pause because you need them to do thus and so. And it's like, this is, it's not a game you can pause. You're either in the group or you're not. And when you've got people who get together in these it takes a lot of planning and time consumption and that kind of stuff. And you can't just pause it because while you are off the game, 
they're going ahead as best as they can with a missing member. And you may, quote unquote, have to pause it and you come back and most of your proof's gone because they couldn't wait for you. So, yeah, MMO gaming is a whole big deal different than a standalone game that you play just on your computer by yourself as a single player. Big time. Now, a lot of MMO games have stuff that you can do technically as a single player. Quests you can do as a single player most of the time. The small quests you can do without help. But even if you have to leave the game while you're doing that, the critter you're after may get picked up by somebody else and then you have to wait again for it to reappear, which is a pain in the tuck. So yeah, MMO games like that are not, it's not like a single player where you can hit boss. Just not. I keep hoping that I can find another MMO game because I love doing the interaction with the other players. But, yeah, I love, wow, well, I have met, met some of the most amazing people by way of, wow. You get to talk to each other in real time over the voice feature of the game. It makes a difference. You can communicate, you can talk about what you're doing with actions, everything. It's great. I wish they were not having so much foolishness over at Activision. I just do. <sighs> anyway, if anybody knows any good MMO games, and I do mean good, I want story content, I want interaction, good games, leave me a message. If you're on the game, leave me your handle for the game and I'll contact you if I go in. So, here's your look. Here's your commentary for the week. What do you think? No politics this time. What? Uh -huh. What happened? Oh. What happened? I'm not bitching politics this week. <laughs> I had fun doing this. I think it looks pretty special. Tell me what you think. No, really, that's an invite. Tell me what you think of the new background. Give me hints. I know, I need to raise my sign back up some. It was too high and now it's too low because it's right behind my head. But give me a clue what you think. Where do you think I should go with it? Yes, I got rid of the big black board. Now it's a big white board. With any luck, I might even get it painted the same color as the wall. We shall see. Then again, by the time I get around to doing that, more than likely, I'm going to end up moving again because we keep rearranging the furniture in here and moving stuff around. It's just like this all. Anyway, that's it for this time. Dare to look one more time. Dare to have hair flower. Dare to tattoo.
wash your hands, keep your distance, wear your mask if the sign is still up for you to wear your mask at a particular place. Don't argue, just do it, get your vaccine. My whole house now, everybody who is eligible to get their vaccine has been va vaccinated. Everybody, there are two people left that are not vaccinated. One, because he's only 10 years old, and the other one, because her immune system is already so compromised, the doctors will That's it. Everybody else in this house is covered. And this is an eight body house, okay? Okay. Now, be good.